Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance and if this is your first time watching my name is Melanie Kate Love I make videos every Monday which is this weekly angel guidance segment and on Thursday which is a law of attraction self-love infused segment and it usually carries on with the message from Monday so it's kind of like the practical side to it so this week we're going to be going through two phases of the moon the first one we're going to be going through is the disseminating moon. This is asking us to receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources. So this is the time where all of the work that you have been doing from the start of the new moon up until now, this is like when you um, see the fruits of your labor, so to speak. Then we move into the third quarter of the moon. So we move into this on Friday. Your affirmation is, I breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So this is kind of like the yin and the yang, the balancing and receiving. So if you're receiving something, then it, you need to give back and to show gratitude and thanks for that. And this is a really beautiful time. It's always a beautiful time because each week there's just different energies that are infused with it. Like last week we're going through the full moon and six degrees of Capricorn, which was a really interesting week about breaking free. So I'm really excited to see what this weekly focus is. As always, I'm going to be using, using the Shadowscapes Tarot today and yeah, also make sure that you are following me on Instagram because I'm going to be doing a giveaway of um, one of my old decks um, this week because this is the only deck that I use now. I've already given away my Angel Oracle, that was my first ever deck, that was the purple deck. I've sent that off to one of my beautiful MK Love fam in the Netherlands and I just it just feels right to give them away and yeah I just hope that you guys enjoy them as much as I do. Anyway without further ado let's get cracking. By the way do you believe we're in July? How crazy is that? And I hope that no matter where you are on your self-love journey that you know that you're just breathing and just saying, I am where I am and it's okay. All right, angels, what do we need to know for this week? Well, wow, that was a very distinct card. Oh my gosh, we've got the Four of Cups. This is an interesting one. The Four of Cups is about reflection and <sighs> I just heard that song. When will my reflection change? Who, oh, who I am inside? When will my reflection show who I am inside? I got the words wrong. <laughs> so it's like she's she's kind of like gone out by herself. She's sitting on these, well, laying down on these rocks, and she's looking into the water, and then she gets a glimpse of herself, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, that's me!" Like. Where am I? Like, how did I even get to this situation? And there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You can see that there's like four little, I don't know what you call them, angels, denizens. Um, I think denizens is what the artist refers to them as. They're like holding all the cups up, but she's not like even paying attention to it. She's just so fixated on her in reflection and she's like, there is beauty in within me, but it's not being portrayed in my external. It's like, I know that I am amazing. Or maybe she has forgotten that she is amazing and her reflection is like, oh, whoa. I know for me, from a person who used to be a lot heavier, um, I sometimes don't see my own beauty by looking in the mirror. But then other times where I see pictures of myself, especially my face, because um, my face used to be like, really really big and when I see pictures of myself I'm like oh that's who I am now and it, it's kind of like if you have been a lot bigger it's like your brain doesn't always catch up to the person that you are now maybe like, it was ages ago that I used to be a lot bigger but I'm just I'm giving you that example because to me it's like sometimes I don't see that beauty in myself and sometimes I catch glimpses and I'm like Oh, it's like you forget about where you have been. So what comes up for you when you see this card? The 
Four of Cups. Alright, so we're starting this on the Four of Cups. Interesting, because maybe, because we're in the receiving phase, so it's like maybe not just yet you are receiving this goodness. It's like, why haven't I got this? Is there resistance in your vibration? Or are you receiving abundance that you didn't expect and maybe you don't feel worthy of? It just depends where you are on your journey. Well, this card made it very clear that it wanted to come out. Oh my goodness, we have the chariot. So this is moving energy. This is fast moving energy. This is a really, truly beautiful card. It's like you're on a journey, you're on a quest, and you're kind of like in your power and you're like, um, Nothing's going to stop me now. Don't stop me now, because I'm having a good time. Da, 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 da. We always have Queen in here somewhere. <laughs> There's no stopping me. Down into the skies, yeah. I'm going to make a super, Superman out of you. Superhero out of you. Don't stop me. It's like you're not going to stop. It's like, okay, maybe it's like you're not going to stop. Maybe you aren't seeing the results just yet, but you're like, you know what? I am where I am and it's okay. For me, like, I'm just going to go back to my yoga story because it's a bloody good one. <laughs> this week so far, it is Friday that I'm filming this. I've been to yoga three times, which is amazing because I had a very big break where I wasn't doing exercise at all. And now I'm going because it helps with my mental health, which I spoke a lot about last week because we were about breaking free. And it's like, I'm, I'm unstoppable now. And it's like, I know that my physical appearance doesn't match up with what is where I am now. But over time, as I'm consistent, those results are totally going to come through. And it's like, I have this unwavering knowing that I am going to have this beautiful body. I have a beautiful body, but it's going to become even more stronger. And because I have a lot of mental strength, but I'm now finding the physical strength and also finding the flexibility. And I know that as I'm consistent, it's like, I don't need to dwell. I don't need to dwell about this because I know it is coming. So I feel like if you're not receiving what you want at the moment, it's like maybe your seeds aren't going to be harvested this month, but they're totally going to come. And you just have to keep saying, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for my highest good. I surrender to the process. And as you surrender to the process, this is when divine timing comes in. If you are putting in the work, it's going to come. It may not come this month or next month, or maybe even in two months time or three months time, but it's definitely going to come. Like think of my YouTube channel as the perfect indicator. I started my YouTube channel almost four and a half years ago. And I did this because I don't know. My angels told me that I needed to do it before I even realized that I was an intuitive. And over time, I have been building the most beautiful community ever, which I refer to you guys as my beautiful MK Love fam. If you're new to the fam, make sure you subscribe. And, you know, this is not something that I was like, where are my subscribers? Like, where are they? Like, you know, I don't see you guys as subscribers. I see you as people and I see you as beautiful, high vibrational people. I see you on a journey and I just love you guys so much. And I notice how crazy is this? The last month, I would say probably from the new moon, I have seen a, a double increase in private messages on my Instagram. And I was like, I just feel the community had shifted. I don't know what I did, or maybe it's the seeds that I've been planting for four and a half years. And all of a sudden something just changed in the universe. I don't know, but it's like, it's coming. So you're on the right path. Don't dwell if you're not seeing the results right yet. I know a lot of you are trying to lose weight. I know a lot of you are trying to manifest the love of your life. And I know there's a lot of spiritual entrepreneurs here as well. Keep working on your goals. I always say to myself, what can I do today that my future self is going to thank me for? Like to me, going to yoga is not about what I do in the class. To me, it's about getting in the car, putting on my yoga clothes and literally driving myself there. I've already won by walking in the door and like scanning my little card and saying hello to my beautiful teachers. It's like I've already won when I've walked in the door and anything that happens past that point, which has been pretty flipping hard this week, it always is hard, but I just love it. It's like, I'm going to see the results. You know, you're going to see me on Instagram soon, posting all these beautiful 
poses or maybe I'll just show you the progress because my hamstrings are not flexible. Anyways, long story short, what I'm trying to say is your reflection is going to change within. Your reflection deep within is going to be reflected on your exterior. They're going to level up. They're going to match soon. And you're going to be find that balance and you're like... Your hard, what I'm trying to say is your hard work is going to pay off. You have to stay consistent. That's what I see from just two cards. <laughs> Moving right along. All right. Clarity on the Four of Cups and the Chariot. Also, the Chariot is a major arcana. So this is a major life event. Maybe things are going to speed up for you. Maybe your progress is going to be accelerated because remember last week we were talking about seeking out mentors, people that can help you in your field. You know, I could just do a YouTube video and have a look at like a yoga class, but that doesn't give me what I need mentally and environmentally. And I need to separate working from home because we can talk about this all day. We can talk more about this on the live that I'm going to do on the new moon. Okay. Oh, this is a card we got last week, the Five of Swords. So this is like, don't get caught up in the darkness, you know? Don't be like, this is very cliche, but it's like, you need to be the change you wish to see in the world. You don't want, if you're hanging around people that are low vibrational, then that's going to rub off on you. You need to, if, for instance, Peter and I were told by my beautiful angels that I needed to move, that we needed to move to Mackay. Currently, we're living with my mum, which I never thought I would ever move back home, let alone live with my mum, but that's where I am and I'm embracing it. And I'm learning that, you know, this is like a test. It's like, yeah, you can be super spiritual and be like, oh, I'm vibrating on the frequency of love, but the universe sends you tests. My test now is dealing with contrast, dealing with people who aren't on my vibration. Um, which is good because it's really made me step up my self-love practices. Which is like, don't get caught in the darkness. Don't get caught in the bullshit. This darkness could literally be, because a lot of you have told me about this, this darkness could you being caught up in um, like old triggers. So if you're like an emotional eater um, and you get stressed and you start like binging, or this could be you, if it's a relationship, this could you be going for someone who is Mr. Right now, but not Mr. Right. You know, it's he's a stepping stone, but he's not where you want to be. So it's like, what the hell are you doing? Stop wasting your time. Um, if this is a job thing, this could be like you getting caught in the fear. This is you getting caught up in your own darkness. But it's like you need to break free of it. You know, you have this sword here. Bloody use it if you need to, you know. Or what could you do to take a preventative approach so you don't get caught up in this darkness? Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I would like Clarity on the Five of Swords. Clarity on the Five of Swords, angels. What have you got for us? What do we need to know? By the way, I don't know if I've told you this, but if you're new, this is a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. Maybe it's one card. Maybe it's all of the cards. Maybe it's not even any this week. It just depends. What do we need to know? Can we have clarity on the Five of Swords, angels? What else do we need to know? Oh, okay. Five, four, three. Thank you. Ooh, okay. The Page of Wands. So this is like being someone that others like look up to, or this is you being caught in your own like world doing the things that you love that make your heart sing, vibrate on the frequency of love. So I feel like these two, it's like, okay, there's like some conflict around you, but it's like, don't get caught up in it. Don't lower yourself to their levels. Okay, now I understand. Don't lower yourself to their levels because, you know, when there is people around you that are not on your high vibration, you can sometimes get caught up in those old patterns and go back to where you used to, like, yeah, I think I've explained that one right. I'm just getting really, really hot with all these lights on me. <laughs> ah. And this is like doing the things that you love, doing the things that you love that make you feel amazing. So this is like, keep going with your self-love practices. Don't get caught up in, in this conflict that may be around you. This can also be the conflict with yourself, which is going back to this one. That's like the reflection. 
When will your reflection change? It's going to change when you change your perspective, change your perspective about where you are and changing your attitude and changing what you actually do. So step, I, I spoke about this last week. You really need to step up the self-love practices. We have Mars in retrograde this time right now, which goes until the 27th, I believe of August. Um, I don't know much about Mars retrograde. I'm not an astrologer, but yeah. So it's like, when will your reflection change? Just keep, you've planted the seed, so don't, don't get hasty and feel like you're not making progress. You are because you've got the chariot. The energy is moving. Keep doing what you're doing. Some of you, this could be really accelerated. And it's like, don't get caught up in this conflict. This could be the inner conflict or the people around you because that's going to cause detours in your plan. Keep doing your self-love practices because you are on the right path. And when you're at that higher path of like vibrating on the frequency of love, like this card right here, then that is a beautiful time where you can have no resistance in your vibration. And then that's when you can actually receive this abundance from expected and unexpected sources. It can mean so many different things. It doesn't abundance doesn't literally mean like financial prosperity. This could be abundance in like, oh my gosh, you just got a free meal, or oh my gosh, you made extra sales today, or you got more clients that booked in for you. Okay. Ugh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. The Ten of Swords. This is like you you've been caught in this tunnel of like negativity, either the people around you or this is your own thoughts. And this is like you, everything's like being torn and ripped and she's like feels like she's it's like things have like taken a turn and she's been caught up in all of this bullshit and you know her clothing is being like all ripped and stuff but it's like sometimes the shit hits that has to hit the fan for you to realize and feel grateful about this situation because I say this all the time and today Friday um today the 29th of June this is a time where I posted on my Instagram today to saying whatever you're going through, no matter how bad it is, it is literally a blessing in disguise. It is literally creating the person that you want to be and that your higher self wants you to be, but you need to learn these lessons and you have to be so grateful for them and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. What do I need to know? Um, if you guys watched my full moon ritual and you saw who I was writing the letter to, which I needed to release, this is totally relates to me right now, being caught up in this whirlwind of toxicity and negativity and frustration and a little bit of anger too, because it's like, how dare you treat me like this? Like, really? <laughs> but it's like, you know what? You have these people that, oh, this is you. You have, Things are being mirrored to you and this is an opportunity for you to grow, to bloom and to prosper and to become your greatest version. So it's like, yeah, feel the pain and then release it. Feel the pain and release. It's just a cycle. Okay, can we have something on now, like the third quarter, the breathe. I breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. What do we need to know for this stage of the moon? We have 20 minutes. Oh my God. Whoa. What the hell? <laughs> ah, literally all my cards just fell, but I saw two cards that literally fell either side of me. So maybe this is the balance. Hold on. Whoa. Oh, there's actually more. I don't think I've ever had that many cards fall. And I get a lot of cards that fall, but not this heavy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Things just made a massive turn. You got the King of Cups. So this is like, don't allow this negativity and whatever you're going through to define where you are because Either you are the king of cups, you have conquered your emotions, you've released your fear. So if you if you guys listen to my forgiveness heals, guided visualization at the time of the full moon, then the angels are like, dude, I'm flipping proud of you. You have done an incredible job. The king is the highest you can get. So it's like conquering the emotions and being a strong kind of like, I heard the word candidate, but I don't think the word candidate, being a strong like, um, beacon of light and you know you can help other people when you're at this stage because you've conquered it and like 
it's like a teacher. You could be helping other people who aren't where they want to be. Then, wait for it, the Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful, kind, nurturing. She has worked through all of her limiting beliefs as well. And she's like strong, secure, financial prosperity, however that looks like for you. Oh my God, the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like you have released your blockages. And as you have released those blockages, you can now, as you release the resistance, your manifest ma manifestations because they're not blocked by any resistance, you're now seeing the fruits of your labor. So this is how you can breathe with ease. It's like, oh, yeah, I did, I've done the hard work on the full moon, you know? I've done the hard work and I'm continuously working through because I've got the chariot. I am doing the things that I need to, that makes me feel amazing. Oh my God. So that's three major arcanas in this week. This is a really powerful week. Oh my gosh, I don't even, think we've ever done a reading with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like you do the work. Yes, your reflection is going to match who you are inside to what you're doing externally. There's going to be a balance. And maybe that's why these cards fell like either side. You're going to have this balance restored. You work on your mental health, the abundance is going to come. I think that's where the how you find the abundance. You, it's not just like a, it's not just a one-sided thing self-love you know it's holistic and that's probably why I started my channel teaching you guys about how to become vegan and not just vegan but like um, a whole foods plant-based vegan like you know how to eat high vibrational foods and I've spoken a lot about that I actually did a video in season one of my law of attraction I'll post that for you um, right here right here I'm not too sure which side this is so exciting oh my gosh so we're conquering the emotions and the abundance is coming. And now we have done that, we can breathe with ease. We can breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. We can help other people that maybe aren't as fortunate or maybe they need extra help releasing their blockages. You know, you can release at any time of the moon, at the phases of the moon, any time. But the most powerful is at the time of the, the full moon, which is why I spoke about it so much last week. And I've spoken about it um, in my Instagram, like in any posts and my insta stories and make sure you follow me on instagram please it's totally going to help you out it's like a daily hit of inspo <laughs> all right let's get one card to finish off the week is there any other cards on the floor no then again no, maybe not one card to finish the week Ooh, we got the seven of cups you need to stay laser focused laser focus. Do you remember that diagram? I've spoken about like, oh, I don't have a notepad here where it's like, okay, if your energy is too dispersed and you're getting distracted by too many things, focus on one thing. That's why I like chunk things. Like Fridays are my filming day. I film private readings, YouTube videos, and I edit as much as I possibly can. You know, oh, this is beautiful. Seven of cups is the abundance. So I feel like once you harness what sparks joy for you and you get laser focused on exactly how that looks you know and you're working towards your goals your reflection is going to change you're going to be who who you are meant to be your reflection is going to be in alignment with your true authentic self you know this whoa what a crazy week beautiful and crazy week laser focus i really feel like the highlights of this week is the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Screenshot that. If I can get my face out. Screenshot that. This is what you're working towards. Some of you may be there. Some of you, you know, you may be planting the seeds, but this is what is to come. <clears throat> and if you have been working in the phases of the moon, following all of the advice that I have been giving you um, from the new moon all the way to now, which is the third quarter, we've got one phase left. Next week, we've got the balsamic moon, which is the time where you take yourself offline, take yourself away for like a romantic weekend for yourself or with your partner, or I don't know, what makes you feel amazing? Or turn your bedroom into a hotel, you know? <laughs> I don't know, whatever makes you feel good. And you really, really need to pay attention to your self-love. That's why I harp on it every week and that's why I called myself Melanie Kate Love, <laughs> you know? Um, yes. 
it's going to come. It's totally going to come. It's like, don't get caught up in the conflicts with either the people around you because, you know, they can bring you down or you can bring yourself down. But just know that everything is working out for you. Whoa. I didn't... These two are just a standout. That is incredible. Anyways, my love. Oh my gosh. If this reading totally like sparked joy to you and really hit your heart chakra, can you type in the comments, oh my God, yes. Literally type that right now. Oh my God, yes. Because that way I know that you have made it to the end. You have watched 25 minutes of me ramble on. But I can't make it any shorter because there's just so much stuff that comes up. So, a recap of this whole week. We're going through two phases of the moon. The first phase starts on Monday. This is the receiving phase. You're going to receive abundance from expected and unexpected sources if you have been doing your work. This won't come to every single one of you if you haven't been doing the work. Don't expect it to just fall on your lap. Life doesn't work like that. Then on Friday, we move into the last quarter of the moon, asking us to breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. Everything is working out for you. Your reflection is going to match who you are inside if you have been doing the work. I'm going to I don't know how to like hash that out even more. If you've been doing the work, the abundance is going to come. Don't get caught up in this bullshit around you because, you know, you can do that. This can literally be you falling back into old habits, old triggers. How do you manage your stress? You know, for me, I have to work really hard. This is not something that comes easy to me. You know, I know how to get back into alignment and I know what makes me feel good. But sometimes it's just the fact of like, get in the car, put your yoga clothes on, turn the car on and drive for 10 minutes and you're there. And then you, whatever you do on the mat is like, I don't know, what is your mat for you? I don't know. Talk to me in the comments. Let me know what sparks joy for you. What are your self-love practices? And don't get caught up in this conflict. Don't get caught up in this conflict because it's going to allow you to detour. It's okay to, de to take detours. You know, I do them all the time. Not conscious, not, I'm, what's the word? I don't do it on purpose, or sometimes I do, but I try not to. But what's beautiful is about how you bring yourself back into alignment and what you can do to nourish and heal your body, your mind, and reconnect with your beautiful soul. All right, my loves, thank you so much for watching. I truly hope that you have learned something this week. I have inspired you to, you know, work harder on your self-love practices and make yourself a priority because, you know, if you've been doing the work, this week is going to be powerful for you. And if you are new to the fam and you haven't yet subscribed or you are subscribed, make sure you turn on that bell so you never miss another episode. And I'll see you on Thursday for another episode, which I'll be probably talking about. I don't know yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Anyways, I love you. I love you. Love you. And I will see you on Thursday. Goodbye.